Well, hello there, friends. Very important video today. How to cook the perfect rice without a rice cooker. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Well, hello there, friends, and essential today, very important, how to cook the perfect rice. So today I'm going to do a basmati rice, because I love basmati rice. Cook whatever rice you want. Some rice have a different proportion of, um, of liquid versus rice. Some is one to one, some is one and a half to two to one. It, it all depends. I will write a few recipes down, so below the recipe they show more. You click on it, I give you different measurements based on different rice that you are using. The technique is the same, very simple, right? I got two cup of two cup of rice that I already washed. You wash it, you put it in water, and you make sure the water is clear. It may take two or three wash to do it until the water is clear, get rid of the extra starch, okay? A lot of people tell you to cook. Ooh, butter, I'm gonna put butter. You know it's gonna be good, right? I don't put butter. Eh? For those of you that are following the channel, you know, we cook with butter here, okay? It's not one of them low-fat channel, okay? Uh, with all the respect to them, we love them, but uh, we're putting butter here. So we got a little bit of butter, maybe a little more. What do you think? Nobody's going to say, you know what? We love your rice. There's too much butter in there, eh? And then I got some chopped shallots. Chopped shallots. If you don't have chopped shallots, don't worry about it. Put onion. Put a chopped onion in there. It'll be perfectly fine. We just want to get some, some onion flavor in there, okay? You can put garlic, you can put a lot of other flavoring, but right now I'm making it kind of plain. The important uh, uh, element of cooking rice, my friends, most recipe out there tell you to cook rice and water. Right? Rice and water, one water, one rice, or one and a half water, one rice, whatever depends on the rice you're cooking, and they all tell you to use water. Think about something. You probably have done it, right? If you cook rice by itself with water, Water, as we know already, tastes like nothing. Rice, what does it taste like? Nothing. Now you got two nothing. Oh wow, you got a lot of you got a lot of seasoning to do. You got a lot of things to do. So we never use water. We, we, yeah, I mean we use water once in a while. I shouldn't say never. I, I use water once in a while to do my my cornstarch slurry. I mean I use water in baking, and you know water is good. There's nothing wrong with water. Uh, it don't taste like nothing, but uh, we use it for consistency. So anyway, let's forget about the water. We know we don't want to use water, so what do we use? I use chicken stock. You don't want to use chicken stock, friends, because you're vegetarian. God bless you. Use vegetable stock. I made a beautiful ve vegetable stock recipe that you can use for this too. Recipe is over there for the vegetable stock. Chicken stock, same thing. Recipe over there if you have not made it, okay? This is a homemade chicken stock right there, okay? It's very simple, friends. So the first thing we're going to do is we got two cups of rice that I washed. We got our shallots, our onion. We are going to coat our rice. We're going to put the, hot, the heat a little bit hotter. We are going to coat the rice with little butter. Maybe I should put a little more butter. What do you think? <laughs> okay, you measure the rice. You measure the stock, but you don't measure the butter, okay? <laughs> like I said, Nobody's going to say, you know, your rice is delicious, but it's a little too battery. Get out of the kitchen. So, <laughs> we gotta, you're going to love this. Let me tell you, it's so simple, my friends. It really is. It really is at all. So, uh, we're going to put some salt because my chicken stock is not salty. If you're using a store-bought chicken stock, which there is a good chance you are because you haven't had time to make chicken stock, or you just don't have the inclination, or you don't have the space to put it in. It's a good thing to make it, but what are you going to put with it? You're going to put it, right? So I'm sauteing the rice in the meantime, as I'm talking. And now I'm going to take a spatula, and I'm going to clean up the side of my bowl, side of my pan. You see, I want to saute the rice just a little bit. Now, friends, if you have a rice cooker, by all means, use a rice cooker, right? Now, in a restaurant business, we, we used to do the same thing I'm doing right here, and... and and then we, we took it, and we cook it in a fry pan, and we cook it in the oven. Yeah, we cook it in the oven. That's a wonderful way to do it, because you don't have to worry too much about the bottom when you do that. All right, saute the rice for a few minutes. Not very long. You don't need to brown. We're not making a risotto. And then we're going to put our stock right there, friends. 
And like I said, this is a homemade chicken stock. I'm going to put some salt in there. And uh, salt, as we know, is so important. Right? We're going to mix this up really good. We're going to make sure there's no rice on the side. Mix it up really good. Make sure it's all nicely incorporated. We're going to put a cover. Oh, I forgot to tell you. You need a pot with a cover, friends. A tight cover. I mean tight. You know, one that fits perfectly well, right? Now we're going to reduce, reduce our heat to the lowest we can. So if you have an electric stove, one or two maybe at the most. Gas, boom. I lower it to the lowest I can do. You see? Very low flame right there. And the burner can be actually too big. I may change it to give me a smaller burner. I'm going to leave it like that for 15 minutes, friends. In 15 minutes from now, I'm going to remove it from the heat. I'm still going to, not going to cover, not going to cover. The idea is to steam it. So we're going to leave the cover on. So cook it 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, we're going to remove it. We're going to keep it covered. And then we're going to fluff it up with a fork, and it's going to be the perfectly cooked rice. Really simple, right? You know, I didn't want to put a little more salt. I'm just thinking about it. Maybe we'll put some chive. I have some chopped chives. I like at the last minute to give it a little more onion flavor. You can put some cilantro. You can put some parsley. You can flavor it at the last minute when it's finished. All right? Tons of seed. You put sesame seed. You can put a bunch of stuff in it. All right? So we're going to let it cook. We'll be back in uh, 20 minutes. 20, 20, yeah, 25 minutes. My calculation. 15 minutes of cooking. 10 minutes of resting, that's 25 minutes where I came from. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, friends, 25 minutes later. Remember, cook it 20, uh, 15 minutes with the top on. Take it off the heat. Don't open it. 10 minutes later, voila. You are perfectly cooked rice. At this point, friends, it's nice and hot, you see. You can add a little chives if you want to. You don't have to, but, you know, I'm... I'm going to use it in, a, in a, another dish, and I'm going to make some. I'm using it, right? And I like to do it when it's still hot. You can also add a little bit of the toasted or roasted uh, sesame seed in it. It gives you a nice little flavor, but no, not have to. And all we're going to do now, look at this. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is, friends. You see? Now, I promise you, my friends. See, look, it's perfect. If you just follow this recipe, friends, very simple, eh? Now, now you, you do want to fluff it, friends. You do want to fluff it because that's going to do two things. One is going to fluff. One is going to fluff it. Whoa, whoa. That's a rocket science uh, statement here. Uh, but one is going to also get rid of some of that steam so it doesn't cook too much. Okay? We want to just fluff it. It makes it nice and fluffy. And this is beautifully cooked rice. Look at this, friends. Look at that. Every grain of rice is, is not sticking. You know, it's beautiful. Uh, uh, two reasons. One, because we use the chicken stock. And two, because we use the butter. And, and three, three, because we rinsed it correctly. So now, this should be perfectly seasoned. If it's not, oh, wait until it's not so hot. Mm. It's got the right amount of salt, but if you're going to put salt, it's now. The perfect amount to put the salt right here, friends. And it's buttery. Ah, uh, oh, let me tell you. You'll try to make rice with the chicken stock, my friends. Instead of using water, I promise you, or vegetable stock. You'll never again use water. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this quick segment. Try to make the slice this way. You'll never, never make it the old fashioned way with water again. Thanks for watching. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned. This week, we're gonna do some other fantastic recipes.